What should you be considering when it's time to go house hunting? I put together a list of things I think are helpful to have the right mindset when you're going to purchase your home. This is an exciting transaction and when it's all said and done you have a great place to live. But in there, there's a lot of things that shift around. So having the right mindset and understanding will prepare you for success. First is that there's no right time to buy. As you are looking, you're going to find a home that really hits on all levels. It's the home that you're excited about. Don't wait. If that's the one you like and it meets all of your criteria, sometimes people get nervous. Is the housing uh, position about to burst? Is the lending rates going to go down? Those are things that are going to slow you down. There's no right time to buy. If you can meet the financial obligations and it meets all of your comfort requirements, then it's the right time to buy. Second is don't look for too many opinions. As this is a very exciting process, you tend to talk to a lot of people about it. And as you're doing that, people are going to start adding their opinions, whether you're asking for them or not. So what's best is to make a list of the things that are the most important to you. And we'll talk about that more in a second. And then as you're looking and you find the home that hits those most important things, then you're going to be ready to purchase. Uh, things like comfort, is it in the right location? Is it going to give my home or my kids a safe place to live? Those are important. The opinions of everybody else, not so much. Third, accept that no house is actually going to be perfect. You might find a house that is in the right location. It's close to the relatives, it's close to the schools and the groceries, it's close to work. But the yard's a little bit small or the roof needs to be repaired. You might have a beautiful kitchen, but the bathrooms need to be rehabbed. No house is gonna be perfect, and so as you're going through this process, the list I just spoke about, your most important list, is what's going to help guide you in this decision. And we have that list down below if you want to open that up and walk through the process of making your dream list. Fourth, don't try to be a killer negotiator. And don't get me wrong, Negotiation is part of the real estate transaction, but if you're continually trying to just force just a little bit more price drop and not budge on any of the um, things that the seller wants, it may cost you a home that you really would have loved. Fifth, remember that a home doesn't exist in a vacuum. So when you found the home that meets all of the criteria that you put on your list, think about other things like what is the noise level? or is this going to be on in this school district, that school district? Consider some of those things that may not have been on your most important list and how does that impact the home in the long run. Sixth, plan ahead. It's so exciting to jump online and start looking at your fam favorite home site and see everything that you're looking for in a property. And then when you find the property, now you're ready to take action. You're like, oh, let me call a realtor. Uh, plan ahead if you're actually looking to take a move you need to take some steps beforehand like get a hold of a mortgage broker figure out what it is that you can actually purchase what are the insurance costs going to be plan ahead on your moving schedule get all of those kind of uh, bigger more important task related items taken care of as you're looking for the home that way you don't go and make an offer and have a lot of contingencies like, oh, I must, must first do this and this and this. Those things make it hard for a seller to want to choose your option versus somebody else's on who they're going to sell to. And in this really difficult market where homes are flying off the market so quickly, you don't want any reason for a seller to question if you're ready to close. Last, choose a home because you love it. Then you can think about what's the appreciation going to be over time. It's true, purchasing a home is a great investment, but its first and primary need is to be a comfortable, safe, happy place to live. So as you're considering what home you're going to buy, think first, am I going to love it? And then you can look at what is the long-term financial benefit of it. So here's my list. This is what I walked through and wanted to 
just kind of get your mindset focused around as you're preparing to purchase a home. Let me know if you have any questions. As I said before, you can click the link below to be able to get that property wish list and see exactly what it is that's the most important from you. Thanks, have a great day.